so dear students uh, today we are going to do a problem on time domain specifications the question is open loop transfer function of a unity feedback system is given by g of s is equal to k divided by s into st plus 1 where k and t are positive constant by what factor should be amplifier gain be reduced so that the peak overshoot of unit step response of the system is reduced from 75 percentage to 25 percentage so uh, look at the question actually this question is a little uh, twisted one uh, from the uh, general problems that we have already done in our class okay so in the question it is given that it is a unity feedback system g of s is given and uh, and it is given that k and t are positive okay by what factor should be the amplifier gain be reduced that means by what factor the value of k should be reduced by what factor the value of k should be reduced so that the peak overshoot of unit step response of the system be reduced from 75 percentage to 25 percentage so in order to reduce the peak overshoot from 75 percentage to 25 percentage what should be the factor that should be uh, that should be reduced from the amplifier gain k okay that is the question so so in the previous or general type of questions what we have done is uh, we will find out the transfer function then we will compare it with the uh, standard transfer function of a second order system or first or, uh, uh, first order system then uh, we will identify uh, so, um, we will identify omega and t all all those such values and we will find out the time domain specifications okay so but here uh, we have to find out the factor of k that should be reduced uh, to get the uh, peak overshoot or peak peak overshoot should be reduced from 75 percentage to 25 percentage so we know what a unity feedback system is a unity feedback system will look like this okay and g of s is given so we can find out the closed loop transfer function c of s by r of s is equal to g of s divided by 1 plus g of s that we know okay so we can find out the transfer function very simple k by s into s st plus 1 divided by 1 plus k into s into st plus 1 so when we when we do this we can get k is equal to, sorry it is equal to k divided by s into st plus 1 plus k or otherwise we can say it as k k divided by s square t plus s plus k so we got the transfer function so now we know uh, we can compare this transfer function with the standard transfer function of a second order system okay so in that case in that case uh, it should be of the form of s square plus 2 zeta omega ns plus omega n square the denominator or the characteristic equation should be like s square plus 2 zeta omega ns plus omega n square so we should rewrite this as s square plus so you divide the denominator term with t okay then only you will get the first term as s square so it is s k by you are dividing the denominator term with t so you will get a t outside in the denominator so we can write it as k by t okay it is for the denominator term it is s square plus 1 by t s s by t 1 by t s plus k by t so now this is in the form of omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square so now comparing this equation we can find out omega n and zeta so compare the system transfer function with the standard transform and determine k okay so now comparing this expression omega n square is k by t see so omega n square is k by t so we can write as uh, comparing we get omega n square is k by t omega n we can write it as root of k by t okay so and the second term this is 2 zeta omega n s 2 zeta omega n is equal to 1 by t 2 zeta omega n is equal to 1 by t or we can write zeta is equal to 1 by 2 omega n into t and what is omega n root of k by t so substitute it here omega n as root of k by t now you will get it as 1 by 2 into this root t and here it is t so it will be root of k t okay so the peak overshoot mp is reduced by increasing the damping ratio so we can say by increasing the damping ratio we can reduce the peak overshoot mp 
and the damping ratio zeta is reduce is increased by reducing the gain k okay that is the relation that we have already uh, uh, learned uh, from the derivations or the, from the expressions for uh, peak overshoot and uh, uh, the relation between peak overshoot and the zeta so in order to reduce the peak overshoot the damping ratio should be increased and in order to increase the damping ratio zeta uh, we ha uh, we have to reduce the gain k so now uh, when mp 0.75 percentage of mp that is 75 percentage of mp or we can say when mp is equal to 0.75 you assume zeta is equal to zeta 1 and k is equal to k 1 and when mp is equal to 0.25 you assume zeta as zeta 2 and k as k 2 okay so now what is the expression general expression of peak overshoot mp is equal to e raised to minus zeta pi divided by root of 1 minus zeta square okay so taking natural logarithm on both sides we can write it as ln of mp is equal to minus zeta pi divided by square root of 1 minus zeta square and on squaring both sides we can write it as ln mp the whole square is equal to zeta square pi square divided by 1 minus zeta square so on cross multiplication we'll get on cross multiplication this one on cross multiplication we'll get 1 minus zeta square into ln mp square mp the whole square is equal to zeta square pi square or we can write ln mp square is equal to we can take this term to the right side okay or sorry uh, we can uh, uh um, open the bracket that is ln mp square minus zeta square into ln mp the whole square is equal to zeta square pi square okay then now you can take this particular term to the side zeta we can group the terms with zeta so ln mp square is equal to zeta square pi square plus zeta square into uh, uh, ln mp the whole square okay you can take zeta square outside so pi square plus ln mp the whole square okay so zeta square is equal to from here your zeta square is equal to ln mp the whole square divided by pi square plus ln mp the whole square okay but we know that from the uh, previous expressions we got zeta is equal to 1 by 1 by 2 into root of kt and zeta square we can write it as 1 by 4 kt okay so on equate on equating these equations on equating these equations all we know from this equation we got zeta square as this but already from the transfer function we got zeta square is equal to this isn't it so we can write 1 by 4 kt is equal to this 1 by 4 kt is equal to this so ln mp the whole square divided by pi square plus ln mp the whole square okay that is equal to 1 by k you can multiply 40 into this so 40 into ln mp the whole square divided by pi square plus ln mp the whole square so now what is k reciprocal of this pi square plus ln mp the whole square divided by 40 into ln mp the whole square okay so now we have uh, we are getting uh, uh, an expression for k so k is equal to k1 for k is equal to k1 mp is 0.75 okay mp is 0.75 therefore k1 is equal to you substitute mp is equal to 0.75 okay pi square plus ln of 0.75 the whole square divided by 40 into ln 0.75 the whole square that will be equal to 9.952 divided by 0 0.331 into t that is 30.06 by t so you will get k1 is equal to this for when the peak overshoot is 75 percentage okay so now we can find out the value of k or k2 at peak overshoot is 25 percentage so for that you have to substitute mp is equal to 0.25 okay so k2 is equal to pi square plus ln 0.25 the whole square divided by 40 into ln 0.25 the whole square is equal to 11.79 divided by 7.68 into t that is 1.53 divided by t so what is the meaning k1 means it is the value of gain it is the value of gain when the peak overshoot is 75 percentage and it is the value of gain when the peak overshoot is 25 percentage so our question is our question is we should find out the factor a factor that should be reduced factor of amplifier gain what factor should be reduced in the gain in order to reduce the peak overshoot from 
75 percentage to 25 percentage okay so k1 by k2 is this value so you should you can you can divide this 30 by 30.06 divided by 1.53 you will get it as 19.6 okay that means now k in this this is we can write it as k1 is equal to 19.6 k2 or k2 is 1 by 19.6 of k1 so we can say to reduce the peak overshoot from 75 percentage to 25 percentage k should be reduced by 19.6 times or approximately 20 times okay so actually when the peak overshoot is uh, 75 percentage value is k1 when it is reduced from uh, 75 to 25 percentage uh, the value of gain should be k2 actually the uh, k1 we can from this expressions for from this equations or from the, all these calculations we got k1 is equal to 19.6 k2 so we can say uh, k should be reduced 19.6 times or approximately 20 times to reduce the peak overshoot from 75 to 25 percentage okay so this is the answer